work for a ministry called Vishwavani, which means Voice to the Universe. This ministry is the church planting arm of Transworld Radio. Okay. And uh, I am Augustine. I am one of the directors uh, for this ministry based in Hyderabad, India. Uh, this ministry is uh, completed four decades now and it is spread in all the states of our country and we are working in 336 different language and people groups. Wow, that's amazing. We have uh, 3000 plus churches planted uh, among the first generation Christians. Wow. Brother Noel, I think uh, God is doing amazingly great things in my country. And uh, we have stories after stories. I can't tell you how uh, people are being uh, uh, affected. Their lives are transformed when they hear the gospel and the forgiving nature of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So recently we are in uh, one particular place. We came to know that a believer, who a young man who came to know the Lord has forgiven his parents murderer. Wow. And they all now worship in one church. India is a very diverse country, as you know, and the world over. Um, I think uh, the linguistic department of India has uh, registered or known there are 1,214 different languages in India. And they say that uh, Every 200 kilometers, uh, the culture, uh, the language, and the habits, they change. Right. Oh, I'm glad to say that uh, because India is being reached uh, by the gospel and God is gracious. The Holy Spirit God is powerfully working. So, Vishwani, our ministry started when God spoke to our founders through Romans 15, 20. It says, preaching the gospel where Christ was not known. And in India, we have 646,436 villages. Out of this, 550,000 villages are enriched. So God gave our ministry a burden to reach 100,000 villages by 2030. I'm glad to say that uh, we are working only in unreached areas okay. and uh, we send out an evangelist and he goes to five villages very systematically uh, into those places and does the gospel work. The challenges that we face now, I don't say that there is no persecution because persecution is the birthright of Christian. Yes. So we are persecuted in every way and every area, but God's grace, the Holy Spirit is moving. And I will uh, request that the greatest need in India is a prayer for India. Okay. You know, the prayer is the primary thing and God does the rest. When we pray for our country, people are being coming to know the Lord personally. Okay.